Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees, and we are just doing some of our final winter prep for one of our colonies that are going into winter here on the eastern shore of Maryland. We look for the temperature to get to uh, a high. The 10-day high needs to get to about 50 degrees, so we need to uh, make sure that our bees are ready to go into winter. All of them have their shims on for us to put some sugar eventually. We'll come out and do that here in another week or two. Uh, we want to make sure that they're fully fed and you can see a couple of the buckets are still remaining on a lot of these. Many of these have internal feeders as well. And those internal feeders uh, are going to help give them the nutrients they need to get the stores up. Uh, we had given pollen patties a few weeks ago also to continue to make sure that they are, you know, good uh, uh, brood rearing uh, in the colony. And then we cease giving the pollen patties here as well once they ate those last pollen patties. We don't want to give them pollen patties going too far into the winter. Uh, we want them to store up what they had consumed to make brood and, you know, naturally shift into a mindset of, of wintering. Um, we don't want any more places also for the small hive beetles to nest in and feed on that pollen patty. Let's take a look at what you want from a bee volume perspective. You look inside your colony, like this one, for example, that's a good bee volume. You can see we still have a feeder on the left. This is a 10 frame. We've taken two of the frames out, replaced it with an inner feeder and the bees will continue to feed on that for a few more weeks to continue to build the stores up. We also still have our um, apivar strips in. Uh, that's to continue to knock out some of the mites that uh, can, will be still in this colony. We wanna go into winter with very low mites. We wanna make sure that they're well fed and they got a good volume of bees. Uh, in the past, we've wrapped our colonies. We're, we are not wrapping our colonies this year. We have way too many colonies to wrap. This is just one of our two yards. And so we're gonna, you know, push our nukes together like we have here, you know, continue to do what we do to make sure that they are fed. And we use screen bottom boards on all of our colonies here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. It just gives the right amount of um, airflow to help get the moisture out, um, airflow to keep the circulation inside the colony. And then naturally um, we have the sugar shim that we'll finish off with here. That's the purpose of that two inch shim you see on top of all the colonies. So the last thing we're gonna do is put our wind block up and we have a couple videos in our series about doing that. Uh, I'm just putting the support beams up today and then I'll bring the, uh, the fencing up. We use a wind block that's about two feet out away from the hive. I don't wanna do it now while they're flying because they will then orient themselves and land on the outside of the fencing and you know probably perish because they don't know how to get in their hive. So I will wait. I will wait to uh, evening time or when the temp goes down and then I'll lift those panels up and screw them in place. That's all we do here in the Eastern Shore of Maryland uh, to keep our bees through winter. We have a pretty good success with it. Again, volume of bees, keeping your mites low, making sure they're well fed, have good stores. Uh, we do a couple extra things with the wind block and the sugar shim, but that's about it. And we have good success with, success with it. So um, hopefully uh, you've uh, followed along here over the last year. We had a great season this year, had a great harvest. We have lots of colonies going into winter, so we're really excited about the, the potential of us, us having some good amount of colonies coming out. Uh, we have a, a limited supply of overwintered nukes that we will bring to everybody. Um, again, this is just one of our yards. We have another yard as well with uh, several colonies in it. So we'll have some available overwinter nukes, but we will be doing spring nukes and packages. So check our website. We have them listed there now. You can reserve it today on the um, the website, go to bohemiabees.com and you can go to our store and visit us on the store and, and check out uh, bees, uh, nucleuses, and, and, and queens. And right now we have the packages you can put on reserve. These packages are actually that we're going to be ordering are from um, out in the middle in Mount Airy, Mount Airy, uh, Wood, Wood Creek Farms. Uh, they're going to be partnering with us to help bring these packages to you and we'll have some couple dates in the very beginning part of spring that they'll be available if you're looking to get a couple packages and we'll also have our nucleus colonies here um, as well so check those out if you're looking to start into beekeeping we might have some class over the winter too make sure you uh you follow along with that we're gonna we're gonna hopefully have some um, classes to get people who are new beekeepers wanting to learn how to start beekeeping and those that are just looking to try to continue to enhance their beekeeping skills and such um, we will have those as well we have lots of other things on our website, our merchandise. You can still get our honey. So please check us out at bohemiabees.com. And on our YouTube channel, subscribe. Follow us on uh, Facebook. 
you know, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, whatever your pleasure is. But thanks for watching. So that's all we have, and we're gonna go ahead and start continuing to work on these colonies and uh, here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, uh, where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone. Aww.